Oculus showed up at GDC this year with the first hands-on look at the Oculus Go, the standalone headset. So the cool thing about the Oculus Go is that it's completely self-contained. You don't need to plug it into a computer. You don't even need a mobile device. You just put it on and start playing. And that's a really big benefit for people that haven't played VR before and want an accessible entry into this market. So the Oculus Go is actually pretty comfortable. It's really lightweight, actually, when you put it on. And it has three straps that you can adjust all around your head. There's no uh, headphones that go over your ears, but there is audio being piped in around your ears. And then the controller itself. It's tiny, handheld, this little gray thing and uh, you have a touchpad on the thumb and you have a trigger on the back and you have some buttons as well on the top. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it's really effective. So I played two games today on the Oculus Go, Onshar Online and They Suspect Nothing. So They Suspect Nothing is gonna be a launch title for the Oculus Go. They Suspect Nothing was actually inspired by a Futurama episode uh, where the team is pretending to be robots in a world of robots. And that's the idea behind They Suspect Nothing. So it's a series of 12 mini games. By the time it launches, it'll be 12. And uh, you, you jump in to whichever one strikes your fancy. I played one where I was uh, controlling a little robot as it wandered around a pile of scraps and had to get the scraps into the right uh, venues. And it was actually super responsive. The controller worked really well. Just by slightly changing the direction of my hand, the robot would follow it really, really well. It was really smooth. And the game features some big name talent. Uh, so Jim Broadbent, the guy who plays Horace Slughorn in the Harry Potter movies and a bunch of other big time roles. He does the voice in some of these games in They Suspect Nothing, and that's really cool. The other game was Onshar Online, and this is a space shooter. So this was something I put on the headset and I was a spaceship in this, this cluster of other ships that were coming toward me, trying to fight me. There were rocks everywhere that I had to avoid. Uh, and you, only, you move just by turning your head. Your ship follows where you turn your head and it was super cool. It, it was a really innovative way to use this headset. So that's one of the cool things about the Oculus Go. Since it is a standalone headset, you're not tethered to anything. So that means when you're playing Onshar Online, you can really turn around as much as you want. You can rotate and see the entire world 360 degrees in all directions. Uh, and you don't have to worry about ropes wrapping around your neck. To compare the Oculus Go to another standalone headset, a mobile one, the Gear VR, uh, it's, it's a little heavier, but and you can feel the insides whirring when you pick it up. It's definitely, there's a system in there. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty comparable. This thing is, is comfortable on your face, uh, and it's, it's not too heavy, which is a really big deal for VR headsets. Oculus Go isn't the only VR headset that we're seeing on the show floor at GDC, so stay tuned to Engadget.com for all the news.